Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Many of you who have visited live.perillo.com have noticed that I've got two 30-inch monitors connected by dual link DVI cables to the back of my Vista machine. It's been running fine. Well, if you discount the fact that I've been running Windows Vista. Anyway, I've had them connected to one PC. Someone suggested the other day, and then other people started suggesting that I connect one of my MacBook Pros up to one of these 30-inch monitors. And it's physically possible. These newer MacBook Pros have support for dual link DVI connections. So I was able to remove one of the dual link DVI cables from the back of my machine and plug it into one of my MacBook Pros, and now <laughs> this MacBook Pro is running a secondary display on this 30-inch screen right behind it. And setting up a dual screen in OS X was different than I had been used to in Windows. Uh, in some ways, a little more intuitive, and in other ways, almost too intuitive. And I'll explain that in a second. Uh, when I first plugged it in, it, I didn't have to reboot or anything. It automatically recognized the secondary display. It recognized the model number, and it started to uh, ask me to calibrate the colors. I didn't have to do much with it, to tell you the truth. And uh, it just detected it right away. Most interesting to me is that it opened up different display dialogue for each of the screens when I was in the... Uh, the particular uh, system preference for setting up displays. And that's nice because I'm able to configure a wallpaper separately on each screen without installing any extra software. But my issue was that it was recognizing the MacBook Pro as the primary screen with the menu bar and everything on the MacBook Pro, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted everything on the big screen, my menu, my, um, my dock, etc., etc. And I couldn't figure out where to change the primary display. Now this is again Windows thinking, I've got to change the primary display. I couldn't figure it out. So I, I looked deeper. I was able to mirror the display if I wanted to. I was able to arrange the displays differently. And right now, just to again to try to prove without any extra software that I've I've got <laughs> I've definitely got this connected to the larger screen here, if you can see my DVI cable there. I can drag this window from the top and I've arranged the MacBook Pro on the bottom. You can see it moving around down there and I can move it back up. I can arrange that in a variety of ways. I can choose to mirror the displays if I want to, uh, but I couldn't figure out how to move the menu bar. I, why is there not an option to move the menu bar? So life just is 2007 and protocol and a handful of others went searching the internet to try to find a solution because it was just it was blowing me away how it could not be in there. Well, turns out, here's the solution. I'm going to zoom in here just because I don't think there's an easier way to, to demonstrate it. What I've got, and by the way, I'm just zooming in using the, uh, the built-in tool for zooming that I've illustrated before. You essentially click the menu bar section, and I realize that it's, that's, it's very bright. Unfortunately, these uh, Dell monitors are so bright I can't, I can't tune them down any. I essentially click the menu bar that's in the little arrangement icon and drag it from one desktop to the second one. So again, all you need to do is change the, change the arrangement and then click the menu bar icon. It's not even an icon, it's just a representation of the menu bar in the multiple display arrangement and drag it from one mini display to the second one as I'm doing right now. So the screen resets. Zoom out again just to show you. Now down below on my secondary screen as I have them arranged. You see I'm, I'm going through the menu right now on the smaller screen. If you can see the menu kind of popping up. But I realize I'm, I'm, a little, I'm zoomed back a ways. But then to switch things back it's, it's just as easy to take that menu bar, click the menu bar in the arrangement panel and drag it up. In fact, let me see if it's it's any darker now. Yeah, you can kind of see it in there. You could kind of see it in there, couldn't you? Just a little? Just a small bit? Maybe not? I don't know. Anyway, it was exceedingly simple to move things back and forth. Uh, I was thinking way too much about it. There's no such thing really as a primary or secondary display inside of OS X. You can move the menu bar around at will. Uh, and it, it takes no um, thinking really other than to realize that you can move that little menu bar 
uh, from display to display to display to display. Uh, so simple, uh, it was difficult. So I appreciate uh, the community at live.perillo.com uh, chipping in and helping me figure out something that I probably would have never figured out on my own. And uh, I think I'm going to keep this MacBook Pro, Pro running here and uh, keeping the secondary screen as a, a, a Mac running a Leopard so I can have Leopard and Windows running side by side to use the same mouse and keyboard between my Vista machine and this MacBook Pro, these displays here, uh, I'm going to install software called Synergy and that will allow me to do virtual KVM and I believe it uses some kind of VNC hack in order to pull that off but it should work well enough considering I'm on the, the same home network here although this one's going to be, this MacBook Pro's wireless and this one's connected to Ethernet uh, shouldn't have any issues and uh, it should be interesting to say the least to see how uh, this evolves. Uh, I, I never really would have thought about doing this if it weren't for you guys out there, so I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Life Just Is 2007. Again, sweeping in to save the day, Synergy2.sf.net. And I believe it's a cross-platform software, which means that you can go between Vista uh, keyboard and mouse and monitor to uh, something like OS X or Linux. So uh, there you go. Uh, thumbs up for me. It's kind of cool. Uh, any other dual monitor suggestions? By all means, make make uh, some suggestions or uh, comments. Email me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, are you running dual monitors? Uh, are you running dual 30-inch monitors? I doubt it. I'm very lucky. I'm, I, I'm uh, making you green with envy, I'm sure. Anyway, I'd just be interested in hearing your stories with dual monitors. And you can email me, chris at perillo.com. You're also free to stop by the chat room where if you've got a question, we may be able to help. Or if I've got a question, you may be able to help me. Thanks again. Really appreciate the uh, varied support. It's just kind of fun to do on a Saturday night, messing with two monitors that are larger than I ever would have imagined they could be. And that chat room is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at one place and one place alone. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.